Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 23rd of April 2011. Happy St. George's Day. And today, interestingly enough, is the day that is celebrated as Shakespeare's birthday, and also the day he died on. A bit of a bummer for his birthday present. Let's first take a look at what has been happening with the sunspot regions. We are losing regions 1191 and 1198 over the West Limb. 1193 seems fairly stable, but is still quite a substantial region. 1195 is the one that's been producing all the activity, as we'll see in a minute. The sunspot groups 1196 and 1197 are relatively small regions and will not contribute very much to activity in the foreseeable future unless they suddenly start to grow. Well, we've certainly had a lot of flare activity in the last 24 hours. NOAA lists 15 separate C flares and a second M flare. Although from this plot it doesn't look as though the flare quite reached the M level, if you look at the higher time resolution plots, it just got to the M1 level. All of this activity is from region 1195. A burst of activity like this is indicative of rapid growth in a region. However, you'll notice that in the last few hours, the background has dropped to the B3 level, which was lower than what it was before all of this started. As this growth seems to have subsided, the chance of a large flare has much diminished. Taking a look at the Sun as a whole, we start with a stereo ahead spacecraft and see what's been happening in the regions that recently rotated over our west limb. From the video you can see that they are very stable, but are not producing very much in the way of activity. Next we use the Solar Dynamics Observatory data to see what's been happening on the side of the Sun facing the Earth. In all four of these movies, the Sunspot movie, the Magnetic movie, the Helium 304 movie, and the Coronal movie, the main area to concentrate on is Region 1195. In Helium 304, just to the south of Region 1195, there seems to be a filament forming, which if 1195 continues to be as active as it has been, has a very good chance of lifting off and producing a coronal mass ejection. From the stereo behind data, we see three regions behind our east limb. However, it will be several days before any of those will be visible on the earthward side of the Sun. From the composite coronal image, we see that we'll lose region 1193 over the west limb in the next few days. And that at least for another week, we won't be seeing any major regions returning either in the northern or southern hemisphere. Turning now to the Soho coronagraphs, we see that there may have been a large coronal mass ejection in the northeast yesterday. However, there's large gaps in the data and there's a problem with the data from the C3 instrument, so it's really hard to tell. The auroral zone seems quiet and the KP index has varied between 0 and 2. So there's been no sign of that coronal mass ejection that was forecast by NOAA a couple of days ago. It looks as though it had missed us. So in summary then, the sunspot number is at 103, the X-ray background has dropped to B3 level, the radio sun is at 115 solar flux units, solar wind speed is at 400 kilometers per second and is at very low densities, and the KP index is rated as quiet. So my forecast for the next 24 hours, is that there's still a chance of getting a few C flares, but the chances of getting an M flare or an X flare are very low. There's still a good chance of getting coronal mass ejections, as several of the filaments on the disk look fairly pregnant for liftoff, or the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is very low. There are three excellent websites coincidentally called The Sun Today, run by Alex Young at NASA Goddard. The links to these are on the screen here at the moment, but also listed in the uh, description box below. If you want more detail about what's going on in the Sun, I would highly recommend these. Links to my other solar and global warming videos are also listed in the description box below. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.